You've seen us shop Fashion Nova online. We've tried everything from the hottest pieces to the just plain WTF pieces. And now we're shopping Fashion Nova in store. It was very triggering for me, okay? You don't have a to put in those. Why are you like this? I only got a couple things. This may come as a surprise, but we don't always get to pick out the clothing that we try on for Fashion Nova. <gasps> what? Who would have thought? Who would have? Who knew? I knew it. Yeah, so today we are heading to the Fashion Nova store just to check out the store because, hello, we have never been there. Ever. Ever. In our lives. Ever. And we're curious. We want to see what's going on. And plus, we want to shop for things that maybe we would actually buy from Fashion Nova. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. I got moves. We are back from the store. The fact that we have real Fashion Nova bags in our hands is just so foreign to me. It's so weird and it's not like a package. Right. It's, <laughs> but listen, so when we went in there, we had many, many thoughts mm. because it just looked like a, I hate to say it, but it's like a basic store. No, totally. I think it's like when you go to FashionNova.com, you're immediately greeted with very Fashion Nova-esque vibes. Mm -hmm. And walking into the store, not being immediately hit with that vibe, you're like, wait, it could be like any other store. We're talking like a bunch of basics, graphic tees, a whole denim section. Tank tops. And I was just really surprised by that. Yeah, I was pleased to see that it was very organized was. and clean. It's almost untouched because most people just order everything online. You I know? did see a few people in there. There was a lot of guys coming in there. I didn't see anybody but us. In the back of the store, there was a men's section, mm -hmm. and it was pretty small, but they still had a good variety of stuff because we both got items. I, I love shorts. those shorts. Aren't they cute? They are so soft. They're like thick. Oh my god, wait, I just I noticed. I just noticed that like too, Apple Nova Men. That's nice. Los Angeles. Mares, mares, mares. Yeah, I really good. like how you can either wear them like this or you can roll them up, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it looks like comfort. <laughs> yeah. I got this button-up shirt. I really like the color of it and I like wearing shirts over bathing suits like when I'm like out and about. Sexy. And in my head I was like picturing myself like at a resort or something. I never thought to put a button-up over a bathing suit that's hot. Very hot! Okay, so moving on to accessories. Obviously, being in a smaller store, I thought that there wasn't a lot of accessories at first, but they did have a good variety. They still had shoes, they still had bags, tons of jewelry, Scarves. and sunglasses for days. Yeah. They still had a variety, but obviously on FashionNova.com, you could literally spend an hour just looking through their accessories. It's insane. I'll go first because I only have three things. <laughs> so I got these gargantuan hoops. Which I also have. This yes. makes me very happy. Yeah, I really like how thick they are. And what did you say yesterday? The, the bigger, bigger the hoops. hoops. The bigger the hole. Yeah. You're so wise. Uh, and then I got this scarf. Oh my it's god! Like multifunctional, you know? Wrap it around your hair, wrap it around your head like a headband. Yeah. I love tying it into like bows over like my bun or a pony. It's like my fave. And then I got these sunglasses, which I definitely don't need because I have like 7,000 pairs of cat eye sunglasses. You have those exact pairs, I know you do. I really like how thick the rim is on these. I love thick rims. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you like this? Like what? I only got a couple things. Oh, um, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am a sunglasses connoisseur, which is weird because I don't actively wear sunglasses yeah. a lot because I like to see the real color of things. So I got these. Those are cute. I got these. Love those. Hi, Tom Cruise. Those are my favorite. And then I got these. Oh, those are good. Yeah. Especially if you like don't have any makeup on. And then I also got bedazzled hoop, like 80s earrings. Yeah, I like those. And then I got this really subtle, not bright at all purse. And they also had this in so many colors. They did. The accessories are always popping. Don't hate on Fashion Nova accessories. Okay. Don't hate. I'm surprised that we didn't see more stuff in store that we've tried on on the channel. The only thing I found in that store that looked familiar, and it's because we literally just tried it on, was that really ugly purple <laughs> yeah. corset dress. And it was very triggering for me, okay? Traumatizing. So we only went to one mm -hmm. Fashion Nova store, obviously, out of the three that are near us. And I think that most people would be surprised to even know that they have physical locations. I literally thought the only one that existed was the tragic one at the Burbank Mall. It's not all that bad. I have a word of advice for Mr. Fashion Nova. I don't know if his last name is Fashion Nova, but Mr. Fashion Nova. It's not. He just bought a mansion. I saw that. Mr. Fashion Nova, sir. I think that you should 
market your stores, like make them look really high end and cool and like have pedestals and mannequins and stuff, yeah. have like a luxe section, you yeah. know? Trick people into thinking that Fashion Nova is a higher quality, more refined than it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, like if you're going to the mall, it's because you have a special occasion yes. and you want to see things in person or try things on. So every store should have a upper, upper, styled, that's not how I say it. I know what you mean. Thank you. Yep. A higher quality section. Good luck at your next meeting. So starting with basics, which again, they had so many available and different styles and everything. Again, I was like, oh, this feels nice. It's soft. You can tell it's well made. I honestly don't see a difference between this white t-shirt and any shirt I would get from H&M or Zara. I love shirts like this. I wear them every single day. You have that. I'm wearing it. <laughs> I was gonna say. What? I have doubles. I got um, this titty shirt. <laughs> this titty shirt. The reason why we call it a titty shirt is because I am always on the hunt for shirts like this that you can just wear without mm -hmm. a bra and it's mm -hmm. really sexy, especially with this neckline that goes up like this. It's yeah. really flattering just to have the top tops. No, in the world. It's a little retro too. Although the quality is bad for a lot of their stuff, you're correct and the basics are pretty good. Like this is the same quality of a tank top that I would get anywhere else. You know? No, totally. For my next item, I got three pairs of men's boxers. Now you might be wondering, Drew, you don't have a to put in those. Yeah, I was wondering that. Anyway, now we know. I love boxers because A, they're really fun to just lounge around the house in, they're mm -hmm. really comfortable. Mm -hmm. But also, if you wear like. Low rise. I almost said it like a bad word. I stopped myself. I was like, I can't say low rise jeans. But low <laughs> jeans, I like to have them poke out on top, you mm -hmm. know? So, like, you still get like that high waisted look or they're just poking out over the. Whatever, okay? Yeah. Even if you wear high waisted jeans, you can even poke them out over those. I do all the time. I literally wear like, bicycle shorts <laughs> underneath my high waisted jeans just to have like a little line. It's a vibe. We are vibing. So I got a bathing suit actually, which was very surprising to me. There's definitely one thing I stay away from on Fashion Nova's website, and it's bathing suits. They never fit me properly. They're either too tight or they're too big. It's usually the bikini bottoms <laughs> are so messed up. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> <laughs> So why'd you get a bathing suit? Because I <laughs> like this one. I can see it's not gonna come up really yeah. high. It will still come up high, but without making me look like I'm wearing grandma panties. I like the color. Me too, I think that's why I got it mostly. Next up, I got these ugly pants. <laughs> <laughs> Now you may be thinking, Drew, if you think they're ugly, why did you buy them? They're weird, but I like it. There's just something that works about the pattern, about the style. I know the style is very common and it looks really cute with a titty shirt and then like a wide brim hat, some sunglasses, you know? So yeah. I vibe with these for some reason. Yeah, you're already first stage going. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I would also like to point out, and I said this in the store yesterday, that if you have a butt, these types of pants look so good. Yeah, they do. Good. They look really good. so flattering. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that's so nice. So I got this short, uh, velour set, basically just to wear over my bathing suit. I wanted to get like a white that kind of looked like towel material without being towel material because I don't like terry cloth outfits. So I wanted to achieve the look or an adjacent look without actually wearing terry cloth. So I got this little velour set. That's cute. And lastity but not leastity, I got this shirt, which I think is really cool for wearing all the way buttoned up mm -hmm. and then having a strapless bra mm -hmm. or a regular bra under some pants just like this. This is like a really good versatile white shirt as mm -hmm. well because it's sheer so you can and make it sexy. And I purposely got it oversized because I like how long it is, mm -hmm. you know? So note, you go into Fashion Nova, buy stuff that's not your size if you want a different Ooh. look. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? It made sense. <laughs> and yet it didn't. All in all, if I were to compare, if I would go into a store versus online, I mm. would for sure continue to shop online. Mm -hmm. Just because it's so much easier and I it's just a personal preference for any store. Right. I can be in the comfort of my home or in my car, you know, mm -hmm. just scrolling on my phone, oh, putting yeah. things in my cart, and then the Fashion Nova fairy drops it off that night. Right. <laughs> like good magic. I agree, and I think that if anything, I'm happy we did it so that I could see certain items in person. Now I know what products to stay away from. If you guys have ventured into any of the other Fashion Nova stores, let us know, like, should we go? Not, they... the, not the Burbank one, though. No. Not no, the Burbank not one. Not there. Do they have a luxe section? Mm. Mr. Fashion Nova Man. <laughs>